Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be making diamonds and gems in Blender. This video is going to be a part of my Blender beginner short video series. So that's why I will be trying to keep this video short as much as I can. But first, if you are new here or haven't subscribed already, then please subscribe. And if you want the finished blend file, you can get it on my Patreon as well as on my Gumroad page. Well, back to Blender. Delete the cube and the lamp. Shift A. We are not going to use any of this in this video. Scroll down to diamonds. We're gonna use only the brilliant diamond and the gem but if you can find this then you have to go to edit preferences add-on search for extra objects and enable this add-on now shift a select the brilliant diamond move it to a side now shift a again bring in a gem you might be saying why not use the diamond in the middle it's because it's kind of not usable uh, it doesn't have the perfect geometry but if you want to use it for a mobile game you can use it if you want now if i press n you can see clearly it's kind of too big for a diamond or a gem so i'm gonna scale it down to like 0.23 meters same goes for the other one Duplicate this one by pressing shift D and scale it down a lot to make it a smaller gem. Yeah, something like that. I'm just roughly setting up a scene. Now shift A, bring in a plane, scale it up, move it back a little, tap to go to the edit mode, select edge select mode, select this edge, now E to extrude. Now select the middle edge, Control B to bevel, scroll the mouse wheel upward to have a couple of more edge loops. Now right click, shade smooth. Now go to the shading tab. We will first set up an HDR to light up the scene because with diamonds it's totally the lighting that matters the most than anything else. Switch object to world, shift A, search for an environment texture, connect color to color. Click on open and select your desired HDRI, increase strength to 4. You cannot just visually see your HDR in the viewpoint shading view, but if you want to see it, you simply have to check scene world and scene lights. Well, now back to object, select the plane, press new. I'm gonna darken up the base color here. And if you want your plane to be reflective then turn down the roughness and if you want a rough non-reflective surface then use a higher value. Turn down the specular a little bit as well. Now select the diamond, press new, delete the principal BSDF node, shift A, search for glass. Now what I'm gonna do here is to just increase roughness to 0.1 and change the IOR value to 2.4. I could have modified the diamond material even more but since it's a beginner series so I'm not gonna make it more complex. Now select the same material for the other objects as well. For new beginners, if I go to the material editor you can see it's the same material setup we just created but we did it in the node editor. So now if I want to change the color on any one of them, I have to press 3 either here or in the material editor to make this material unique and now just changes color. Switch to cycles render engine. Now the blacks on the diamond, you might be saying, why is it black in some areas? It's because of the HDR, you can see it's black on both sides. Well, go to render view. We can see clearly it needs more light. So shift A, light, area, move it up and scale it up a little bit. In light settings, change light shape to ellipse and power to 300. Now back to the render view, it started looking much better. But now if you want the plane to be reflective, turn down the roughness and you can see it's still looking nice. You saw me darken up the base color earlier, so if I make the base color white again, you can see it's now reflecting a lot of light which can be handled easily just by turning down the light power and the HDR strength. Well, it's totally up to you now how you want your scene to look like. 
This is my final scene that I created earlier with the same materials but I added two more planes here and also have much more light in the scene. And we are done. If you guys want more easy short videos like these then you can tell me in the comment box. Hope you liked the video and if you did then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Well, see you in my next video. Take care till then. Happy blending.